first for your channel it was really helpful and that's why i thought i should maybe contact you you're the right person to ask <laughs> these questions yeah 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 no problem uh, next monday i have a face to face interview and they have asked me to uh, prepare some sort of a research plan and they gave me a conference paper just to get a rough background on what the topic is and yeah. they and asked me for like to like write a summary or yeah yeah one page so yeah they generally start. they ask like that i mean any university in netherlands it's always like that not only delft but okay so the yeah my PhD interview they ask you like to summary and sometimes in my case they ask to write a research proposal based on what you are you want to do although it might change depending on the projects and everything but mm-hmm. uh what you actually want to work on and depending on your background and your interest just write a small very small proposal and like a two minute presentation like three or four slides something like that yeah so they have asked me to do something similar so the one mm-hmm. page summary of the research plan or draft and okay. a maximum 10 to 15 minute presentation on the same so i wanted to know like what exactly is this research plan because as far as i know a research plan as you said it develops over the year and yeah 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 i like, mean it, initially what i understand is because they are very clear on that so they just want to see whether you are able to approach uh the research i mean okay. when you do a phd here mostly in the first year after the end of the year generally in all universities they evaluate where you have your one year review to extend your contract from one year initially they give you a one year contract and then they extend it to four years so during that time even if you are part of a project but you should develop a phd proposal so that thing they want to see initially how you approach that thing i mean obviously in one or two days or maybe one week you cannot write something which is uh, really like <laughs> i mean i don't know if they gave you a template but in my case there is a template which helped a lot like uh, I, i don't know how you write but uh, we i mean initially there is obviously abstract very small like 100 or 150 words and uh, then there is like research questions like what are the main research questions that you want to tackle i don't know how you write it because in some faculties i know they don't go with the research question method but in most they first have that thing clear in the mind like what is your main research question and maybe sub research questions which you want to tackle and then you write a brief i mean very short background and how you will approach that thing will be very short i mean that thing you they don't expect that you just make it very i mean that is really difficult to make the yeah. i mean you can have the background but writing the methodology and expected results that is too much i mean if you have that that is well and good but that part even if it is not there it is okay but initially they just want to know background like some literature and uh, if you have and uh, some short i mean the research question like what you want to actually mm-hmm. tackle i mean the proposal so that's why that will also change i mean yes. because if you are part of a project then it doesn't matter i mean that pro- they will it will be shaped by the project's goal obviously like project will have certain milestones and you need to align by that and also continue your phd so that will be completely different than writing an independent proposal like yeah so the in this stage they just want to see how i will approach like yeah 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 i mean it is better to try to keep it very precise and very short uh, no need to write it too long and uh, obviously they will have some word limit i think but uh, yeah. i mean better be short and to the point like uh, for the research question also don't make it like three four research question but just be precise with maybe one main question and if you can subdivide it to two research questions or something like that depending on to make it completely clear it should not be like you say a question and then you have to explain them three four times and it's not that uh, i mean specific then mm-hmm. it's 
Yeah, but they haven't uh, specified any uh, word limit as such, but they just said mm-hmm. that uh, I have the freedom to choose whatever format I want, mm-hmm. but it should be concise. So yeah, I I, I think it's like I I don't remember the word limit, but I think it was I mean one A four or one and a half is already too much. I mean they want to read it also. They if they have asked you for presentation, then they will. just see the one pager while seeing the presentation like just to get an idea because they just read the abstract that is for sure to get an overview what you want to say and then the research question and little bit background because the they will never expect you to write something on the methods and the other part okay and uh, any suggestions or recommendations from your side like uh, how should i Uh, like just an example of a template or something like that because you mentioned abstract uh, and research. yeah yeah i mean uh, yeah i can share you the uh, i don't know if that will be too much for you because that template was meant for my one year review uh, okay. uh, okay. I, i mean still i can share because that is like long thing but if you take those headers and uh, write in brief then it will be fine because the format remains the same like even if you are in a one year review or in the initial i think you can also find in the week one video because in the description i have given a link mm-hmm. where i put the template in google drive or something in a public link and i put the link okay. in the second week one video i think okay. maybe i'll send you the link but okay. it has something regarding the the template but don't go in the details just i think for you abstract the research questions and then little bit background these three things are mostly important and then the methods and those things it is uh, until how much you can reach don't try to extrapolate something and then that will be really difficult because then they will think like you are trying to make up something which doesn't make sense and that will create a negative impression instead of keeping it very short and something which is unreachable is okay but something which is unreachable and you make it too much reachable then it's not okay <laughs> that's true okay yeah so i understand that to some extent and uh, so how have you been doing masters in germany two years masters almost three years now oh, so okay. I, i finished but yeah the master thesis itself took 11 months i think and uh, had an internship mandatory internship which i think is common so germany yeah so 3 years in all i'm here since 2015 october and you also applied for phd in germany or you are applying here in in netherlands I applied yeah this one position and i'm applying all over europe so mm-hmm. germany i did apply but uh, not so successful so far would say mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, this thing is like that. Like, uh, I mean, if you are lucky, you get it in the first attempt. Otherwise, you apply twenty thirty, and definitely you'll get one. That's, <laughs> that's like that. Like you apply for six months, and then you get something. I mean, yeah, exactly. Just exactly. like that, because there are many cases. Like, it does not need that you are a bright student or something. Yeah. Because many goals need to be aligned, like what they want and what you offer, and this kind of. Yeah, thing. you're right. So, yeah, now. so this one is the next and yeah but i still apply whenever i see any new positions yeah, yeah. it depends because there are not so many well, positions as well i don't know about your field but yeah, in general i would say yeah i mean my field there was option but not exactly matching because the one i found where i'm doing now is exactly matching but this also took very too much time because i had some positions in and my masters was in computer science so some positions in eindhoven and leuven and other places which were like in computer science pure but not on the research that i did during my one year thesis in delft so that's why i was like i mean when i got it here i was very happy because this was very similar to learning analytics which is doing the research of mix of computer science artificial intelligence and human computer interaction and educational science so it's like uh, using technology in the classroom to improve the classroom teaching and everything using technology that's the broadly like my research yeah uh, sounds cool yeah <laughs> that's really nice hey, i just have another question regarding yeah. the interview thing so 
they said that it will be around half an hour to 45 minutes because uh, i also have to present my master thesis but ah, i've done yeah. that i've done that before so mm-hmm. i know that but i just wanted to know like what other questions or what do they expect uh, other than these two parts so the thesis and the research yeah. proposal i Anything think other? generally i mean whatever i have experienced in five six interviews generally it's like uh, uh, initially i mean apart from your contribution and knowledge and dedication to research they will ask something like uh, i mean i don't think they ask that in tu delf because it also varies from university to university so how long have you been in netherlands they ask that very rarely not always but if you are not in netherlands it's fine i mean that's yeah. not a issue like if you have been living they will ask some more follow up questions but uh, Apart from that, let me try to remember. I don't remember exactly. Uh, I mean, if you know anything, sometimes it's not always like about the hours you need to spend. Like, what actually happens in maybe first few months or first year of a PhD? Do you have any idea, or what according to what do you think that you are going to do when you join as a PhD? Something like that. Very simple question, but and. one common question which is most places like tell me one strong point about you and one weak point about i think that is common in jobs also like yeah. but Sense that also they just want to see how you answer not there is no right or wrong answer in this type of question so uh yeah i think i think most of that will be around your if they ask you to write a proposal and a presentation give a short presentation on the proposal then most of that will be around that and these kind of normal hr related questions will be very less i mean yeah. it's not a job so although you are employed but still these questions will be limited very less it also depends on the time i mean if they don't have time then they are never going to and they might enquire something about the i mean if they must have asked for the echoes right the recommendation uh, letters from your previous they, supervisors they asked me during the skype interview so the first stage they asked me for that I mean, ah, okay so they already verified or you are not sure they they are asked me uh, if they call my professor what would my professor respond like does okay. he know me something okay. like that. so maybe yeah, they I mean, if they have already asked it's fine because in my case uh, after the skype when i came to that place then the the they asked me like uh, we have this number so if we call them will they answer and they also called them because later they informed me like we called them we had a chat and then it was very positive so uh, we are happy to offer you so that's why generally they sometimes enquire but i don't know if it is after skype or after that but at some stage they enquire Yeah, and I yeah, I think that much. I mean, if they know him by person, then they might ask because in Delft I had one interview. They knew my supervisor by person, so they asked like, uh, I heard that recently she had got two three grants from this uh, NR NRO or Erasmus or something like that, and uh, she has already open positions. But then why didn't you go to her because you are doing your master thesis with her? Then I explained like uh, this grant is more on information and retrieval, less on what I am I did in my master thesis. So they don't align properly. So that's the thing. Like if they have some doubts, they will ask, and they will also give you equal opportunity to explain. Like uh, because they don't doubt you by having any preconceived mind that you are wrong or something like that. I think that much. I mean, I don't remember exactly, but I I think it was that much. I mean, most of them were around your research only, not much about the other things. Like, okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the, I will see <laughs> how it goes because uh, I don't know <laughs> what to expect. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Edited video in YouTube. Yeah, sure. Of course, you can use it. I I saw. I mean, I'll just add some text below so that because the thing is, if I make a video myself by remembering what happens during a PhD interview, that will take a lot of time. But if I have something like this, then it is good yeah. reference to show like what. But I mean, that's why I asked because now is the GDPR and everything because many yeah, people don't want to be shown. So that's why, even if because. there is also provision for that like i can blur the face and other kind of things like 
this is this is perfectly fine and it's useful for anyone who watches your channel so like yeah yeah that's the thing like and i first saw your channel it was really helpful and that's why i thought i should maybe contact you you're the right person to ask <laughs> these questions yeah 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 no problem it was very helpful yeah good luck for your interview yeah thank you i'll i'll stay in touch with you what happens yeah yeah no problem just stay in touch sure all the best to you yeah yeah all the best to you bye bye